Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Addie, and today we are watching It's a Wonderful Life. This is definitely a movie that I should have seen before now, but here we are. It's, I mean, it's such a Christmas classic, and it's one of those movies that every year around the holidays, I mean to watch it and I tell myself this is going to be the year we watch It's a Wonderful Life, but you know what? This will be the year that we watch It's a Wonderful Life and I'm very excited to watch it. I mean, obviously it's such a classic. So many people watch this year after year and it just becomes a holiday tradition, so I'm very excited to get into it. I also, I'm watching the black and white version of this because it sounds like for my first time watching I should watch the black and white version. Um, and then after this, I guess on my own, next year maybe I'll watch the colored uh, version. And I'm excited. I believe, unless I'm completely missing a movie, I think this is my first black and white movie for the channel. So I'm excited to get into it and hopefully feel the holiday spirit. So let's dive in. This is It's a Wonderful Life. Magical. Help him, dear father. Help my friend, Mr. Bailey. Please, God. Something's the matter with Daddy. Looks like we'll have to send someone down. Send for Clarence. That man will be thinking seriously of throwing away God's greatest gift. You will spend that hour getting acquainted with George Bailey. Clarence, you do a good job with George Bailey, and you'll get your wings. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, by the end of this movie, he's totally going to get his wings. Hey, who's that? That's your problem, George Bailey. My kid brother, Harry Bailey! I'm not scared! Oh, I are using shovels. Oh, Just lead. I didn't even know you could do that. Help! Help! George saved his brother's life that day, but he caught a bad cold which infected his left ear. That's Henry F. Potter, oh. the richest and meanest man in the county. He's fancy, though. Oh, oh, do we have a young love? Hello, Mary. Oh, hello, Violet. I don't think they get along. Please, Georgie. I oh, like Georgie. It. You like every boy. What's wrong with that? <laughs> oh, yeah. They definitely do not like Made each other. Made up your mind yet? Chocolate. Say, Brainless, don't you know where coconuts brainless. come from? Is this the year you can't hear on? I'll love you till the day I die. I'm going out exploring someday. I hope it's the year he could hear out of. He needs to know you love him. Hmm. Your son Robert died. Poor guy. Do you want something? Anything? Take those cups and go with Mrs. Blaine. Uh oh. Mr. Galloway. Oh, that guy. Yes, sir. It sounds like he should not deliver these pills. All I'm asking for is 30 days more. A lot of these people are out of way. Well, foreclosed. Are you running a business or a charity war? Well, all I'm Not right. with my money. He's not a failure. You John, can't say John. that about my father. Oh, we need to give Mr. Potter some Christmas spirit. I'll talk to you tonight. By that medicine, you should have been there an hour ago. Why well, didn't you deliver them right away? Mr. Gower, you don't see. know what you're doing. Look at the bottle you took the potter from. It's poison, I tell you, it's poison. George. <laughs> George. Oh, Mr. Gower, I would never tell anyone. I want you to take a good look at that face. Who is it? Okay. George Bailey. Oh, he's grown. I like George Bailey. <laughs> How much is this cost? No charge. What? What's what? my name doing on it? Little present from old man Gower. My old boss. And that's nice. Thank you, Gower. Oh, is that? Good afternoon, Mr. Bailey. Is that the oh, little girl Violet. grown up? Oh, Violet. This old thing? Well, I only wear it when I don't care how I look. Oh. <laughs> okay, we like Violet now. Okay, everyone <gasps> likes Violet now. Boy, my last meal in the old Bailey boarding house. Hope you have a good trip, George. Uncle Billy and I are gonna miss you. Smarty, you look tired. Oh, I had another tussle with Potter today. He hates everybody that has anything that he can't have. He hates us mostly, I guess. We need the ghost of Christmas past, present, and future to visit Mr. Potter. Suppose you've decided what you want to do when you get out of college. Design new buildings, plan modern cities. You wouldn't consider coming back to the building alone, would you? Why? 
Oh, I imagine that's what he's going to end up doing. I want to do something big and something important. I feel that in a small way, we are doing something important. I just feel like if I didn't get away, I'd bust. This town is no place for any man unless he's willing to crawl to Potter. I think you're a great guy. Bob, I think I'll get dressed and go over to Harry's party. Welcome back. Oh, you're putting a fool under this floor is a great idea. Hello, boy. Oh, oh, what am I being? Violet's back. Hey, George looks to be pretty popular. You remember my kid sister, Mary. That's the reason why I came in fourth. If it hadn't this been for that, Mary that race now. had been a cinch. Because they know what you kind of a guy George. I am. This is Mary. Oh, I think she does remember George. Well, well. Now, to get back to my story, see? Hey, this is my band. Oh, why don't you stop annoying me? Well, I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> well, hello. 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 Oh, yes, oh, yes, the big Charleston contest. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. Well, let's try to win, at least. Let's have some fun. Hey, you're wonderful! Did they say there was a pool under this floor, though? Did I mishear that? But this doesn't seem safe. <laughs> All of these people on this floor. Did you know there's a swimming pool under this floor? Oh, that, that is what I heard. Button behind you causes this floor to open up. Oh, no. And there's so many people on this floor. You're, you also realize that you're doing this to the girl you want to dance with. Okay, the floor looks a lot more stable than I expected. I'm still trying to dance in the pool. <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? <laughs> I guess everyone's getting in on this fun. I told Harry I thought I'd be bored to death. You, you look wonderful. You know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. Why don't you say it? Well, I don't know. Yeah, Maybe I, I will say. Tell her that. How old are you anyway? Eighteen. Eighteen. She's all grown up. You look a little older without your clothes on. I, I mean, uh, uh, I, I, you're, okay, I mean younger. Safe. You look. You're gonna uh, step you on just, that. Uh -oh. You may kiss my hand. Mm. Oh. Hey, Mary. As I was lumbering down the street. Okay, then I'll throw a rock at the old Granville house. I'd like to live in it. I wouldn't live in it as a ghost. Now watch. There's right in the second floor there. See. Good shot, I guess. And I'm shaking the dust of this crummy little town off my feet, and I'm gonna see the world. Were you gonna throw a rock? You gonna make it? You made it. What'd you wish, Mary? Crazy secret. I think I know what your wish is, Mary. You want the moon? Just say the word, and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. I'll give you the moon, Mary. I'll take it. Why don't you kiss her instead of talking to her, yeah. Dad? How's that? Well, come on back out here. I'll show you some kiss and will put hair back on your head. What are you... Oh. Oh, no. Did that take off the robe? No! Mary? <laughs> In the hydrangea bushes. There you are. Catch. What am I doing? This is a very interesting situation. I'll make a deal with you, Mary. Your father's had a stroke. Mary, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Come on. You just had to leave poor Mary. I mean, I understand why. I want the board to know that George gave up his trip to Europe to help straighten things out here these past few months to appoint a successor to our dear friend Peter Bailey. And I make a motion to dissolve this institution. Peter Bailey was not a businessman. That's what killed him. Now, you're right when you say my father was no businessman. But he did help a few people get out of your slums, Mr. Potter. Well, in my book, he died a much richer man than you'll ever be. I'm not interested. This town needs this measly one-horse institution to have some place where people can come without crawling to Potter. I think George Bailey just made an enemy. George, they voted Potter down. What? They want to keep oh. it going. Oh, I'm surprised they actually stood up to Potter. They've appointed George here as executive secretary to take his father's place. Now, well, let's get this thing straight. I'm leaving. Story. I'm leaving right now. George, they'll vote with Potter otherwise. He has to... For his dad. He gave his school money to his brother Harry and sent him to college. George got four years older, waiting for Harry to come back and take over the building and loan. So Harry is living more of a life that George wanted? I want you to meet Ruth. Hello. Ruth Dakin oh. Bailey, if you don't mind. Meet the wife. Oh. Oh, I got married without telling you? <laughs> What's a pretty girl like you doing marrying this two-headed brother of mine? The father offered him a job. Oh, he got you and the mm. job. Well. Oh, so that, uh, that means that George is stuck with the business. 
And I never said I'd take it. Well, I won't let you down, George. Is it a good job? Oh, yes, very. Harry's a genius at research. My father just fell in love with him. He's gonna stay with the family business so that Harry can do that. Boy, I feel so good, I could spit and pot his eye. I think I will. <laughs> you do that. No, oh, maybe I better go home. Where's my hat? Oh, oh thank you, George. You... Yeah, it's probably better if you do go home. Did you know that Mary Hatch is back from school? Oh, you shouldn't call on Mary. Sure, Sam Wainwright. Oh, she's not crazy about him. Well, how do you know? Mm -hmm. no, what, what, she discuss it with him? No. Well, then how do you know? She knows. Mothers know. And all's fair in love and war. <laughs> I, don't know I think we should at least talk to Mary. I mean, nothing bad's gonna come from it. Well, here's your hat. What's your hurry? If you'll just point me in the right direction. Okay. This direction. She was ready with that hat. She said, you're going to leave right now. Maybe I'll just run into Mary. Excuse me. Oh, oh no, wait. we're gonna run I into think Violet. I've got a date. Where are you going? Probably end up down at the library. What are you doing tonight? Uh, Let's go out in the fields and take off our shoes and walk through the grass. Walk in the grass in my bare feet? <laughs> Why, it's ten miles up to Mount Benchford. Oh, a, I didn't realize that a crowd had appeared for this moment. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? I just happened to be passing by. Yes, yeah, so I noticed. Your mother just phoned and said you were on your way over to pay me a visit. Oh. My mother just called you? His mother is meddling in his business. I'll be downstairs, Mother. All right, dear. Oh, did she do that for him? Well, are you coming in or aren't you? That works. That, that definitely works. I thought you would go back to New York like Sam and Angie and the rest of them. No, I, I guess I was homesick. Homesick? I think she wants to be here because this is where you are. What's that? Some joke, huh? Nice about your brother Harry and Ruth, isn't it? Don't you like her? Well, of course I like her. She's a peach. She's a peach. George Bailey, what's he want? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't sound like the mother likes George Bailey. I just came in to get warm. Um... He's making violent love to me, mother. Why don't you go home? That's where I'm going. I don't know why I came here in the first place. Because we like each other, right? Oh. Yeah, that's fair. George was kind of a jerk. Forgot my hat. Hello, Sam. How are you? Sam wants to speak to you. What are you trying to do? Steal my girl? Well, what, what do you mean? Yeah. Nobody's trying to steal anybody's girl. Here, you you Mother's on the extension week. I am not. <laughs> the mother is my favorite character. I have a big deal coming up that's going to make us all rich in the chance of a lifetime. Kiss. 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 Dang it. The chance of a lifetime. This is the chance of a lifetime. I want to do what I want to do. George, George, George. <laughs> okay, at least we realize that we like each other. At least that finally happened. Where are you two going on this here now, honeymoon? It's a whole week in New York, a whole week in Bermuda, the highest hotel. Wow, <laughs> that does it. <laughs> then what? After that, who cares? <laughs> no. This is horrible timing. They're about to go on their honeymoon. Wow, hello everybody, Miss Thompson, how are you? Come on in everybody, that's right. But all I know is the bank called alone. When? About an hour ago, I handled all, all our cash. George, it's Potter. Mm, not the person you want to talk to right now. I have just guaranteed the bank sufficient funds to meet their needs. I am willing to guarantee your people too. Oh, you never miss a trick, do you, Potter? If you close your doors before 6 p.m., you will never reopen. I was just talking to old man Potter, and he's guaranteed cash payments to the bank. The bank's going to reopen next week. Did he guarantee this place? The, the money's not here. Old man Potter will pay 50 cents on the dollar for every share you got. Better to get half than nothing. Uh, oh, so now, ah. Uh... If Potter gets a hold of this building on a loan, there'll never be another decent house built in this town. We can get through this thing, all right? How much do you need? Hey! Oh. That's all of their honeymoon money. Tom, just enough to tide you over into the bank. Room. I'll take two hundred and forty-two dollars. Mm -hmm. Well, then that two thousand is not going to last very long. I suppose. 
Twenty dollars? Twenty dollars. Now you're talking. Six. That'll never close us up today. Five. Bingo! <laughs> we made it! Close the door, you t A toast to Mama Dollar and to Papa Dollar. You better have a family real quick. Mary! Hello. Come home. What home? Is this the same old house from... Aww. From earlier in the movie that they threw rocks at? Happy honeymoon! Aww. It's adventurous! You said you wanted some adventure. This is it. All the places he wants to visit. This is really sweet. Welcome home, Mr. Bailey. Mm. Remember the night we broke the windows in this old house? This is what I wished for. Mm. I bet you regret breaking all those windows knowing that this is your house now. Mr. and Mrs. Martini, welcome home. Hello, right. right, George. He's always making a speech. But you can't laugh off this Bailey Park anymore. Look at it. Hey, it sounds like George Bailey isn't doing so bad right now. Potter's probably about to ruin it, though. Dozens of the prettiest little homes you ever saw. 90% owned by suckers who used to pay rent to you. Jane, I offered to let George in on the ground floor in plastics, and he turned me down cold. Quite a cigar, Mr. Potter. About to you like strike it? A deal. I'll send you a box. You have been stopping me. A young man who has to sit by and watch his friends go places because he's trapped. Or do I exaggerate? Well, I don't think you're exaggerating. The point is, I want to hire you. I'll start you out at twenty thousand dollars a year. Twenty thousand oh, dollars a year. That's a good year. job. But Potter's the worst. A couple of business trips to New York a year. Maybe once in a while, Europe. Oh, he'd love that. He wants to travel. Holy mackerel. Ah, this is such a hard decision. You go on home and talk about it to your mm -hmm. wife. I'd like to do that. I'm curious how much 20000 would be today, because I imagine 20000 at the time was a lot of money. I don't need 24 hours. I, I don't have to talk to anybody. I know right now, and the answer is no, no! I'm gonna build skyscrapers a hundred stories. Oh, now. they I'm gonna framed build a bridge, a mile George long. Lasso's the moon. Oh, they framed it in their house. Why in the world did you ever marry a guy like me? She loved you. To keep from being an old maid. <laughs> I want my baby to look like you. <laughs> George Bailey Lasso Stork. What, what, what is it? A boy or a girl? Mm-hmm. Mary had her baby. A boy, another one, a girl. Night after night, George came back late from the office. Just put it back. It's fine. Mary had two more babies, but still found time to run the USO. Potter became head of the draft board. Harry Bailey topped them all. A Navy flyer, he shot down 15 planes. George fought the Battle of Bedford Falls. Mark it Congratulations. What's George? Tell me about it. George, what? George. Carter, bank examiner. Mr. Carter, Merry mm. Christmas. Merry Christmas. My brother just got the Congressional Medal of Honor. The president just decorated it. Yeah, well, I guess they do those things. <gasps> he does not care whatsoever. Now, if you'll cooperate, I'd like to finish with you by tonight. Eight thousand. Good morning, Mr. Potter. What's the news? Harry Bailey wins Congressional Medal. Some people like George had to stay at home. Not every heel was in Germany and Japan. I guess you forgot something. Well, aren't you going to make a deposit? It's usually customary to bring the money with you. Oh, does he not have it anymore? Did he I... accidentally pass it to Mr. Uh, Potter? Yeah. How about that? He was definitely not going to give it back to him. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's going to keep that $8,000. Because it's kind of a lot of money now. Oh, Mr. Potter has it. Dang it. You little slime ball. Very hard. If I had any character... Oh, it takes a lot of character to leave your hometown and start all over again. I'm glad I know you, George Bailey. Oh, no. Oh, no. You have a... Hello, New York, um, yeah. This is not going to look good for you, sir. What's the matter with you? Now, we'll go over every step you took since you left the house, right? right. This way. Potter literally has it. Uncle Billy, look, do you realize what's going to happen if we don't find it? Poor Uncle Billy. It was an honest mistake. And just Potter is the worst, so he's not coming clean. Where's that money, you silly, stupid old fool? It means bankruptcy and scandal and prison. One of us is going to jail. Well, it's not going to be me. 
<laughs> Is it snowing? Yeah, it just started. Well, where's your coat and hat? I left them at the office. What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. <laughs> a lot is the matter. Yeah, he's not okay. Must she keep playing that? I have to practice it for the party tonight, Daddy. It's beautiful. Excuse me. Excuse you for what? I burped. <sighs> but let's give Mom and Dad some privacy. Susan, well, what's the matter with Susan? Oh, she's got a cold. She's in bed. Of course, it's this old house. I, I don't know why we don't all have pneumonia. It's a very nice house. George, what's wrong? Wrong everything, George. You call this a happy family. Why do we have to have all these kids? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be, uh, cherry on top. Well, what happened to you? I want a flower. Look, Daddy. Good as new. No, no, give the flower a drink. I'm not sleeping. I want to look at my flower. Oh, sleeping isn't fun. Zuzu's teacher? Yes. Let me see. Sure. Say, what kind of a teacher are you anyway? What do you mean sending her home like that, half naked? Is, is this the sort of thing we pay taxes for to have teacher, have teachers like you? George, I know you've had a bad day, but you're taking it out on literally everyone. She's hung up. I'll hang her up. Oh, Mr. Welch, give me a chance to tell you what I really think of your wife. Uh, this day is just getting better and better. No, no. Janie, go on. I told you to practice. Now go on, play. Oh, Daddy. I need help. Uh, I've got to raise $8,000 immediately. And he has the money. I've just misplaced $8,000. I can't find it anywhere. You know, it's all over town that you've been giving money to Violet Bick. Well, I have some life insurance. $15,000 policy. <laughs> You're worth more dead than alive. Oh, don't tell him that. As a stockholder of the building and loan, I'm going to swear out a warrant for your arrest. Oh, that's exactly what he needs right now. When you're the one who has the $8,000! You can't hide in a little town like this. <laughs> I hate Mr. Potter. Dear Father in heaven, show me the way. Are you all right, George? Want somebody to take you home, huh? No. <laughs> what? what was that? The next call? time you talk to my wife like that, you'll get worse. Oh. You all right, George? On top of everything else, that's that? definitely what he needs. Keep going. Oh. Yeah, just truly one thing after another. Wow. My great grandfather planted this tree. Hey, you! Worse. Come back here, drunken fool! This would be a good time for those angels to intervene. George. Ah! 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 I didn't have time to get some stylish underwear. I passed away in it. Oh, Tom Sawyer's drying out too. Oh, this is, oh, what was his name? I jumped in to save George. Oh, oh, you're just admitting to all of this? Where do you come from? Heaven? Mm. He does. George, I'm the answer to your prayer. That's why mm. I was sent down here. Well, who are you then? Clarence Oddbody, angel second class. Hey. <laughs> He's having nothing to do with this. What happened to your wings? I haven't worn my wings yet. That's why I'm an angel Wait, second hopefully class. Hopefully he's going to get his wings after all of this. You don't happen to have 8,000 bucks on you, do Oh, you? no, no. We don't use money in heaven. Comes in pretty handy down here, bub. <laughs> oh, t t t That it does. I'm worth more dead than alive. Go off and haunt somebody else. No, you? now you don't understand. Shut up, will you? He's trying to help you. What'd you say? I said I wish I'd never been born. Yeah, I'll Can do you show it. him what life would be like if All right. No, Potter looking for you with a sheriff. Say something else in that ear. Sure, you can hear out of it. What I need is a couple of good stiff drinks. How about you, Angel? You want a drink? Come on, as soon as these clothes of ours are dry. Uh, clothes are dry. I'm sorry. I'll stroll. You fly. I can't fly. I haven't got he my wings. He doesn't have his wings. Oh. What's the matter? Oh, he hasn't been Well, this born, is where so I left my car, car and it isn't here. I ran into it. Cut a big gash. You had me worried. One of the oldest trees in Pottersville. Whoa. Whoa. If he wasn't born, oh, the whole city would go to Potter. Well, maybe I left the car up at Martini's. Well, come on, Gabriel. Clarence! 
Oh, no, Martini, your boss. Where is he? Hey, look, I'm the boss. You want a drink or don't you? Ooh, I, I guess at some point we're going to see his family, but it won't be his family. I wonder who Mary married. Uh-oh. Every time you hear a bell rings, it means that some angel's just got his wings. Mm -hmm. How old are you anyway, Clarence? 293, next May. That doesn't... Almost 300, okay. What's that got to do with it? Oh, I don't Mr. know Bauer. you from Adam's off ox. He's not gonna recognize him. Didn't I tell you never to come panhandling around here? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gower. Mr. Gower, that's George Bailey. I don't think he knows me. Don't you know me? You, that rumhead spent 20 years in jail for poisoning a kid. Because George wasn't there to stop him. You were not there to stop Gower from putting that poison into the cabinet. What do you mean I wasn't there? I remember the stick. Look, who are you? I told you, George, I'm your guardian angel. Yeah, yeah, I know. You have no identity. Oh, what do you mean, no identity? My name's George Bailey. There is no George Bailey. Zuzu's petals. I hope You've it's easy to gift, just reverse George. all of this. A chance to see what the world would be like. So long, Mr. I'm going home. Home? What home? Now, shut up! Cut it out! How am I doing, Joseph? Thanks. <laughs> so I didn't have a drink. <laughs> Sounds a lot different. This makes me think of whenever, which Back to the Future was it? Whenever like Biff took over the town. This definitely gives me those vibes. Building along, we're up there. They went out of business years ago. Is this the place? Of course it's the place. Well, this house ain't been lived in for 20 years. PJ Drew, where are you? They're not here, George. You have no children. Yes, but, but, oh, 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 Ryan George. Ryan George. Oh. I guess that's one way to stop him. Just bite his hand. Joseph! I hope this is towards the end. Oh, he's gone. Well? Mother. She doesn't look so happy anymore. Mother. Something terrible's happened to me. I, I, I don't know what it is. Something's happened to everybody. Your brother-in-law, You know them, but they don't you know, know him? him? Well, sure I do. He's been in the insane asylum ever since he lost his business. And if mm. you ask me, that's where you belong. Well, yeah, we need to snap out of this. We need to go back to our life. Each man's life touches so many other lives. Mm. Oh. Your brother, Harry Bailey, was drowned at the age of nine. That's a lie. Harry oh, Bailey went to George. war. Harry wasn't there to save him because you weren't there to save Harry. You really had a wonderful life. Where's Mary? She's an old maid. She never married. Where's oh. Mary? Where is she? Oh, there must be some easier way for me to get my wings. <laughs> Poor guy. George Bailey is putting him through it. Mary. Mary! Don't you know me? What's happened to us? I don't know. You let me go. Mary! 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 Mary. Mary. That's my wife! Let me go! Clarence! Clarence! Oh, would Clarence wait until he's literally in jail? Get me back to my wife and kids! I want to live again! Please, God, let me live again. You all right? <gasps> he's, hey, what's the matter? I get out of here, Bert, I'll hit you again. Get out of here. He knows you. He knows you. You kidding? I've been looking all over town trying to find you. Hey, your mouth's bleeding. Are you sure you're all right? What you? Yeah, yeah everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth's bleeding, Bert. My mouth's bleeding. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so happy to have their mouth bleeding. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Yep, no more Pottersville. Merry Christmas! This is so magical. There's so much snow. I love all the decorations. Merry Christmas, my <laughs> Happy New Year to you! In jail! Oh, I hate that they're waiting for them. I just want a happy family reunion. Mr. Bailey, there's a deficit. I know, $8,000. I'll bet it's a warrant for my arrest. Isn't it wonderful? I'm going to jail! He's so happy. Oh, let me look at you. Oh, I could eat you up. Where's your mother? She went looking for you. With Uncle she... Billy. Daddy! Zozo! George, darling! Where are you? Oh, oh George. 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 Are you real? Um, oh, George. George. George, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. And all of these guys are just waiting to talk to him. <laughs> 
that George Berry did it. She told yeah. some people you were in trouble and they scattered all over town collecting money. Everyone in town came to help him because he's changed all of their lives. Take that, Potter. My office instructed to advance you up to $25,000. Stop. Sam Wainwright. Thank you, Sam. So now that we have to have a happy ending, now we need Clarence to get his wings. Oh, the daughter is finally playing. Oh, the fact that he gave. Wow. <laughs> Take forever to count all that money. To my big brother George, the richest man in town. <laughs> no man is a failure who has friends. Oh, thank you for the wings. He has the. He got his wings. Every time a bell he rings, an angel gets his wings. That's right. Not a boy, Clarence. Good job, Clarence. Aww. Now I know why everyone loves to watch this movie for the holidays, because I just feel so warm inside, and I feel like that's... I don't know, I just feel like I'm filled with the holiday spirit, and I'm just so warm and fuzzy. This isn't going to make any sense whatsoever, but I feel like I just drank, like, a warm cup of hot chocolate. I don't know, like I just feel like so warm inside and it was such a sweet story. I mean it's so cool that the movie started with Clarence getting the assignment to help George and then he had to be filled in with his whole life and had to start from the very beginning and then work his way to our current situation and then the fact that whenever we went back to where George wasn't born and it literally went through like all of the characters and everyone we know. It just showed like how everyone's life was different without George and how George had affected everyone's life and made everyone's life for the better and truly made the town a better place to live. It's just so cool how one person can change the lives of so many people. And I think this movie just really like that's the heart of the movie and I mean, it's so magical because it's set at Christmas time. So now, yeah, I just understand why so many people love this movie and why this is such a classic Christmas movie that people watch year after year after year. I mean, I just feel so warm and fuzzy and I'm definitely ready for the holidays now because of this movie. I just, I just feel so good. I really enjoyed that. And honestly, can't believe that I haven't seen that until now because I mean, it just made me feel so many things, but I'm so glad I've seen it. I do hope at some point to watch uh, the movie in color just to see what that experience is like. But I love this and I'm really excited to watch it again already. Well, that was It's a Wonderful Life. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.